guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Cooking with Bab Ramadan. If you're new here, Karibu Sana, welcome to the family. Remember to subscribe and to press the notification bell so that you'll be notified once I post a video. Today I have a very interesting video. I'm going to show you how to prepare pizza at home. And to do that, I'm going to show you how to prepare the pizza dough, the pizza sauce, and to finally prepare the delicious pizza. So stay tuned. To prepare the pizza dough, you need a bowl, two and a half cups self-raising flour, extra flour for dusting, two teaspoons sugar, half a teaspoon salt, oil, one cup warm water, and one teaspoon dry instant yeast. So first we are going to mix all the dry ingredients into one bowl. We're going to start with our self-raising flour. Next, we're going to add sugar and salt. Next, you are going to add in our one teaspoon instant dry yeast next you mix all the dry ingredients first before adding in the wet ingredients so i'm going to add two tablespoons of oil and then i'm going to add the warm water and use exactly warm water not hot water or cold water because the yeast won't be activated if the water is not warm then mix all the ingredients together Once everything is mixed together, you transfer the dough to a clean surface and then you knead for 5 minutes using your hands. This is the point you are going to use our extra flour. Remember to time yourself five minutes. After kneading for five minutes, you tuck all the corners to the center and then you turn your dough and form it into a bowl. Next, use the bowl that you're using to knead the dough, oil it. And then take your dough and place it on the bowl and oil it on top this is just to ensure the dough does not harden on top 
Next, we are going to cover this using a cling film. Or you can use a clean kitchen towel. Next, you are going to place the dough at a warm place for one hour, and after that, we'll get back to it. To prepare the pizza sauce, you need salt, two cloves of garlic, one heaped tablespoon of tomato paste, quarter cup of tomato ketchup, half a teaspoon sugar, and cooking oil. So first we are going to prepare the garlic and this is how I prepare my garlic. The knife helps you to peel the garlic faster. Then I slice them. Do the same to this one. And then I usually add a pinch of salt. This will help me to mash the garlic faster. My surface is clean, guys. The garlic is well mashed. So next you are going direct to preparing the pizza sauce. Over medium heat, you are going to cook the garlic till golden brown. You keep stirring because the garlic cooks very fast. When preparing the pizza sauce, we don't use onions, the red onions. Once the garlic and turn golden brown. We are going to add in our tomato paste and stir. Next, we are going to add our tomato ketchup. Our sugar and a pinch of salt. And then we start them together. And then you reduce the heat. and let the paste simmer for three minutes. The three minutes are over and our sauce is ready. As you can see, it has thickened. So we are going to switch off the heat. We are going to let it cool for a few minutes and then transfer it into a bowl. For the toppings, I'm using 
two sliced sausages, half bell pepper or capsicum, a slice of pineapple, a piece of chicken that is grated, and grated mozzarella cheese. You can adjust the toppings according to your preference. You can add beef, you can add smoky, you can add vegetables or anything that you prefer. I don't have the pizza pan, so we are going to improvise and use the aluminium lid. So you are going to preheat this one in the oven, just like the way you preheat a baking tin. And you are going to place it in the middle, on top of an oven rack. And then we are going to switch our oven to maximum, that is... 200 degrees and then the heat coming from below and above we're going to preheat it for 20 minutes it's one hour past and as you can see our pizza dough has doubled in size so you just remove the cling film and the first thing to do is you remove the air from the dough by just putting your finger at the center. Next, we are going to prepare the pizza dough. And this can serve or can make two pizzas. So I'm going to cut it into half. We are going to make thin crust pizza. If you like thick crust, you can use the dough to make one pizza. So we dust the surface. And then we are going to roll it out. The lid will give it its round shape, so you don't have to be very careful about the shape. It's 20 minutes past, so our pizza pan is ready. It's very hot. So, Next, we are going to line it by just, let me first remove it from here. We are going to line it by applying oil. We can't use our hands because it's hot. Dust it. And then next you take your pizza dough and you place it on top of the lid and then you stretch the corners to ensure it covers the lid. Yeah, next. We are going to use a fork to make holes on the pizza dough to remove air bubbles. Yeah, our pizza dough is ready. So first we are going to spread the pizza sauce that we prepared 
on top of the pizza dough. Make sure you spread to all the corners. Once you've done that, the next thing is to spread our mozzarella cheese on top. You also make sure you spread to all the corners because the cheese will glue all the toppings together. After you've done that, and remember to put aside some more cheese because you're going to add it on top. So next you're going to add our toppings, starting with the sausages. Just spread them all around. Next, we are going to add our bell peppers. That's enough. Next, we are going to sprinkle our grated chicken. And then we are going to place our pineapples in all the empty spaces. So finally, we are going to use the remaining mozzarella cheese and spread it on top. So our pizza is ready to go into the oven. We are going to place it on the rack. And then we are going to bake it for 10 minutes at the maximum degrees of your oven. And then after the 10 minutes, I'll show you what we'll do next. Bake it at the middle.
10 minutes past. So next, we are going to remove the pizza from the oven. It's not yet ready. We're just going to transfer the pizza from the lid to the rack. You need to be very careful because you don't want to slice the pizza. This is to crust the bottom of the pizza. So we are going to return it to the oven for another five minutes. Time is up. So we are going to remove it. This looks cooked. Our pizza is ready, so we are going to slice. I'm going to taste. The pizza is so yummy guys, I hope you'll try this recipe and tell me how it goes. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe and to press the notification bell so that you'll be notified once I post a video. Till next time, bye!